I want to be clear. It's good. <laughs> In the car, I was thinking, be clear. <laughs> well, I suppose that's what psychiatry is about, being precise and clear. And honest, of course. I'll level with you. I'm not a great believer in psychiatry. Okay. I know what happens here is only between you and him, and uh, and I like that. I respect that, and uh, and he's better. I can see that. I'm, I'm not trying to put you down. I just don't believe in psychiatry as a panacea for everybody. Neither do I. <laughs> I wish I knew what the hell I was doing here. Well, you said you uh, thought you could shed some light on some things. What did you mean by that? Well, actually, I'm not sure. I think I meant in terms of Conrad. You see, I knew something was wrong even before he tried to uh, kill himself. But I thought that... Well, it's clear that he's very smart. He's been an A student ever since he started school. And naturally, I thought that intelligent people could work out their own problems. But you still feel responsible. Yeah, sure I do. It's hard not to. I mean, it was luck. It was just luck that I happened to be there when he tried it. I could have been at a meeting. We both could have been away. It was luck. So you think of yourself as a lucky man, then? No. 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 I used to. I used to think that I was a lucky person before uh, the accident. I guess the whole of life's nothing but an accident, is it? What happens to you, what you do with it. That sounds more like the philosophy of a drifter than a tax attorney. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I am drifting a little. I can see myself, and I can see the two of them drifting away from me, and I just stand there watching. What would you want to do about that? Something. I've got to do something about it. I, I don't know what. I feel like I'm sitting on a fence, and I don't like it. And you see them as on opposite sides of this fence? Yeah. No. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I see her not being able to forgive him. For what? Oh, I don't know exactly. Being too much like her. People always think that she and Buck are, were, were uh, alike. But it's really she and Conrad. They were the only two that didn't cry at the funeral, you know? It's, it's not easy for me to admit this, but um, she didn't... His mother doesn't show him a great deal of affection. I'm not trying to put her down in any way at all. She is a wonderful woman. Uh, Did she give much affection to Buck? Oh, God, yes, yeah, she loved Buck. Oh, Bucky got so much. I, I think what she felt for him was special. You know, I, he was her firstborn. That's not unusual, is it? And you? Me? Oh, I love Buck. What I mean is your wife's affection. For me, you mean? Yes. <laughs> no. Um, well, she's very... No, there's, there's no problem with her for me. We've been, we've been married nearly 21 years. Everybody loves Beth. For Conrad, it's been difficult. He doesn't talk about that. We don't know what happens here. It doesn't come up. I guess that's what it is. It's private here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Very private. I think I know why I came here. I think I came here to talk about myself. Okay. Why don't we? 